What's up, Internet? It is raining here in the town today, and our inventory is full, so we're going to go deal with that. But uh, we're going to go talk to our boy KK before tonight's over as well and try and pick out a song. Um, it would help if I knew what songs we had, but like I've said so many times, I have a memory of a goldfish. I actually have no idea what songs we have and don't have at this point. Hey, Mr. Nook, I got a bunch of beetles to sell and some fish. And some fishy beetles. And some beetly fish. How much is that gonna sell for? Wow. So, uh, yeah, we've almost got two bank deposits at this point. That's just sort of how things are at this point. <laughs> Thanks, Nook, for your cooperation. We still have to empty the copious number of bugs from our basement. And then deal with our mail, of course. I think we're going to keep that bug, but I'm not sure if that's a permanent solution or what. This, 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 this. Do we have inventory space for all of them? We do. Hooray! Now we can try and grab stuff from our inventory that we can sell. We might need that paper, so we'll hold on to that. I don't want to get rid of pinwheels. Or that. We have here. Dactyl, yeah, we can sell that. More paper. We already have one set, we don't need two. Another pinwheel. I just drop these. Drop the other one. Again, we're trying to save space as much as possible here. So I'm sure they'll look great just sitting on the ground in our basement. What else do we have? Gold shovel. We do kind of need that. Shirt. And our axe. Well, we do need this shovel, so we'll take that out. And then we'll go take a look at our actual mail for like the past two days. Our mailbox is probably overflowing at this point. Then we'll take a look at our KK song list and figure out what song to request. And then we can actually like properly start the day. And I think once we go to KK's we'll probably just go to the other town and look for bugs. Because I really want to get that dragonfly because I'm a little bit pensive about the fact that it's such a tricky insect to get a hold of. Alright, well we have over a hundred thousand bells. Unfortunately, we can only hold like 9,900, or 99,999 in our wallet at any one point. So they just threw a giant bag of bells into our pants, really. There's nothing interesting up here. But we are here. Let's grab these flowers to save some time on our trip back. So you gotta kill multiple birds with a single stone where you can. I'll take some pink cosmos, sure. And some tulips. We may finish off that acre today, that'd be pretty exciting. And we can work on below the cliff. Alright, and I'll take some more pansies, sure. Let's see you, Mr. Nook. And of course, because it's raining, that means that when it stops, we can go look for gyroids, which is pretty exciting. Okay. Unfortunately, I think I timed this rather poorly, because I've got, been just busy with stuff, so... We're doing this kind of later than I normally do, because I normally do this at like 8.30, not 9.30. And that is because the time travel to the other town has a six hour time difference, because... Well, you know, that's just how time zones work. But the problem is that most of the bugs and fish we're looking for, they tend to disappear at 4pm. So it's highly likely that we probably won't catch anything of value, at least in terms of bugs and fish, but we might be wrong, there might be a couple. Alright, so what do we have here? 
A lot of butters. Okay, well, first we can get rid of the ones that don't have stuff attached. See a Tom Nook. See a HRA. See a Tom Nook. See you HRA. Okay, so we can get rid of this one from the museum. One from the snowman. I feel like we should hold on to that. Just because snowman. Let's grab this. I'd like to hold on to Mr. Snowman's letter if we can. Throw that away. Throw this away. Throw this away. We'll grab these and move them up. Now we'll have five spots. Since we're only missing one spot for one more letter. Just math. So we'll do this with a set of three, and then we'll come back for the other ones after we get rid of these letters. Okay, so grab this, pop that out, grab this, pop this out, grab this, pop this out, and let's see what we got. Zero right wing, cool. Amber, eh. And the Tricer tail. Okay, so we got one proper fossil, or one proper uh, paperweight and two actual good fossils. Which is good, because, you know, it means more bells for us, not that we are in need of them at all. Hell, we're trying to find reasons to have bells at this point. Alright, we have a Triceratops skull, we can almost build Triceratops. A Stegosaur. Will we get a third fossil, or will this be another paperweight? Let's find out. T-Rex Torso, so we got three fossils. And while we're here, we'll take a look at our nooks, or nooks, our, uh, KK songs. I just picked uh, three on a list today and picked the ones that sounded like ones we'd never have. So let's see if we have any of these. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I know what KK song we're going for today. Let's go sell this stuff to Nook. And we'll pick up this crap. Take this to Nook's as well. Get a few more bells. Go talk to KK and then go to the other town. I think will be our plan. Oh, that could be worth a few bells. This guy's gonna be worth less bells, but still. I'll take a dynastic beetle. Okay, look, I got some stuff to sell. This, 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 and finally this. That is almost another bank deposit. We've almost gotten three today. Well, granted, we already had one at the start of the day because we've had that for a little while, but still. Alright, so next, oh, this world is just providing us with beetles to sell. Okay, okay. There is, actually, I have a request. Let's see what it was. Let's rock out to some KK Tango. Oh, 
all me, all me, all me, all all me, all me, all me, all all me, 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 all And that's a song we definitely didn't have. You know, normally we'd go home, but we have a few minutes before we'll hit 10 p.m., which in turn would hit 4 p.m. to the other town. So if we're gonna go try and catch fish that disappear at 4 p.m., we might have a chance. Unfortunately, this means that we now have to deal with everyone's least favorite cat in the world, Rover. Who is still doing Rover-related activities, much to no one's surprise or enjoyment. take too long. We have like five minutes to try and actually catch fish and bugs and stuff. Hurry, Rover! We're depending on you, which is a terrifying thing to say out loud. I saw this person. I think it was you, secretly, honestly. Because that wouldn't surprise me at all about you, Rover. And it's raining. This might help us catch fish. Although it probably won't help us catch bugs. And that probably all the bugs are gone. Which is kind of annoying, because we still need to get one of the cicadas. But still, fish. Fish, 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 fish. This one might be one of them. And it was. Ha! Okay, well, we got two more fish to catch. One should be roughly a normal size, and the other should be, like, absurdly big. Also, cicadas are under trees right now. I think that's one we already have, but let's try and grab it. Although cicadas will be here afterwards. Yeah, hold on. We've got four minutes to try and catch two more fish. Can we do it? Probably not, but let's see. Yeah, we got the Popeye goldfish, that's pretty cool. I know one of the fish only will spawn here. On this area with, like, the pier, so. 
That's worth noting. And it's gonna be big. So what we probably do is just circle this area a little bit. The other fish are gonna be like normal size and like giants, so once that size is probably too small. We got three minutes, so we should probably try and motor. See if we can get the others. And we got uh, the Popeye goldfish. Which actually is probably like the least necessary of the fish that we're trying to go for right now. Because it's available pretty much year round. Whereas the others are not. Smaller fish. I wish I could see more of the pond though. I try going around to the other side. Get out of the way, Goldie! I am being Mr. Impatient Pants today. I think I've earned that. Fish. Where is fish? There should be a fish, but there isn't. That one might be one we're looking for. Nope. That's just a base. I'm looking for something that's vaguely sort of gold colored. Ooh, that might be it. Nope. That's just a carp. But that's the right size. Is this one? That's just a boot. Oh, boots. You're not fish. No matter how much you try to be, you will never be fish. There's no fish here. There's no fish. That might be fish. Okay, now this is an interesting thing, because the time's about to change. Will that change what the fish is? I guess it doesn't matter, because that's not the fish. Fish. That's probably just a giant, giant snakehead, a giant catfish. I need a giant snakehead though. I can't catch it all the way over there, and if I leave, it'll despawn. There's not a lot I can do other than watch it and hope it like drifts down here. And if it does, then I can try and catch it. Great. Once it goes under the pier, it probably despawns. Ain't that a thing? You finally find the super fish you're looking for, and it might just be gone because stupid bridges make it despawn. now for so it won't spawn at all okay well bright side we got one of the three remaining fish we need to get this month downside we still need the other two but we can deal with that tomorrow I guess let's sell what we've got that we don't need and uh, just wander around to see if we can get that other cicada that we're missing I don't think the other things that we need will spawn, but we can try and go for that cicada. 
Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Don't sell the Popeye goldfish. We'll probably only end up going for like another five minutes or so, because I got some other stuff I need to do. But we'll wander around, we'll see what we can see. Got some stuff we can sell over here. But primarily, we're still going to keep an eye out for that cicada. Because we got four more bugs we need to catch. If we can get rid of that one, that would just make my day. Especially considering that we now have the Popeye goldfish. It only took us like six months to get it. Fossil. careful not to run through stuff to scare it off. Because of course scaring off cicadas is not exactly what we're trying to do. And what we're looking for I think is like a small black cicada. I think is what it kind of looks like. Because it's raining we probably won't hear them. Which will be problematic. Just means we'll have to keep our eyes peeled I guess. Oh, and we should check with copper, see if anything's going on while we're here. Just so that we can keep that in mind moving forward. You're not the giant super fish I needed. Go away, you stupid small fish. I don't care much for the fact that fish have time limits. I guess that's to make it more realistic, but it's just kind of a pain. Like, limiting them to certain months and stuff, that's... Not great, but that's understandable, but limiting them to certain times of the day I don't like too much. Especially considering they're already limited to specific acres. Oh, Sahara. I don't need anything from Sahara. I mean, at least with Wendell you get free stuff. You still have to pay Sahara as well. The only advantage Sahara has is that uh, you can kind of decide what you want from her. Or him, depending on which version you're playing. It's kind of weird they did that to two specific villagers. I don't think that was the cicada we needed. I hope not, anyway. But yeah, Sahar and Gracie, for some reason, got gender flipped in North America for reasons. Got another fossil. But, we're not finding our bug friend. Now, on the bright side, we did get the most annoying... Well, one of the most annoying bugs yesterday in the giant beetle. But, of course, I'm still really concerned about the banded dragonfly, because that one is basically... Random if it shows up, random if it actually decides to be caught by... you. And I don't like that all that much. And a dragon pipe just kind of sucks. He's like the worst bug. That's a longhorn beetle. That's not worth very much. And also, it's not a cicada, so I don't really care. I'm right now just sort of more interested in finishing my bug collection. At least for the month. This also means that at some point, possibly tomorrow, we'll have to get up like stupid early in the morning just to go get some turnips. Well, that was a cockroach. As other beetles make a deeper sound, and cicadas make different sound entirely. I think that's a brown cicada, but we can try and catch it. The one we're looking for, I believe, is the walker cicada. Yeah, brown cicada. I don't think that was it, but I feel stupid. Like, that's one of the problems with it being raining, is it rains out there sound, which means that we can't really know if they're around until we basically step on them and then scare them off. Even if you're going slow, it's just kind of awkward. You have to give, like, all the trees ever just huge radiuses of empty space when walking around. A 
Where or where could you be? My insectoid friend. I mean, on the bright side after this, we only have three more. And one of them is available year-round. It's just a matter of having turnips. Hmm. You know, if I did this early afternoon tomorrow, and then time traveled here, that might be able to allow us to talk to Joan. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Just just like six hours earlier. And that might in turn allow us to get those other two fish that we're looking for. If it's not raining, maybe that last bit that we need would be good for our insects as well. That's a drone beetle. That's Quetzal. I don't think I can catch him as much as I'd like to because he's awesome. There's Pierce, again, someone I'd like to catch and put in my village, but I can't, it seems. Not seeing any sick cave does. Turn to Nooks real quick. See about selling some stuff off, buy some flowers for our awesome garden, and try and make the trip home, I guess. We'll continue our bug hunt tomorrow. What do we have here today? Nipplings. I cannot tell what that shirt is supposed to be. It just looks like a large splotch to me. Alright. So we can sell the cicada. Sell that, sell that, and sell that. Not much, but it's something. And it'll be more than enough to buy the flowers we need for our town. Take this. I'll take that. I'll take this. I will admit it was rather lucky that the second screen we run into would have one of the bugs, or one of the bugs, one of the fish we needed. It's a little unfortunate that, you know, we finally found a giant snakehead on screen and it's so far away we can't catch it. That's one problem with the pond, is you just can't get around it. If something spawns on the opposite side, there's just nothing you can do about it. Because the moment you leave like half a screen away, they despawn. Because this game just had to be playable on the N64. And they didn't want to upgrade it for the GameCube. So everything still can only have like one bug and fish on screen at a time. With the odd exceptions of like the red dragonflies and fireflies. Now we've got to deal with everyone's least favorite cat in the world. Again, he only ever says two things to you. Ever. I hate you, Rover. I'm just so terrible at everything. Oh, look, it's that guy. And that lady we need to talk to to get turnips that we've never interacted with in our entire lives. So that would imply that we get up that stupid early on the weekend, and why would we? Alright, Rover, let's go. Let's get this over with. I gotta go to the museum. And then the bank. And then the post office, which is also the bank. So, yeah. You can kill two birds with one stone there, but... still need to go to the museum, and you're eating into a lot of time where I could be doing stuff. Hopefully we'll get some new gyroids, too. When this is done raining. Because I think we've got, like, 75% of them in our collection. There's only, like, four that I want that I don't have. 
and most of the ones that I do have I don't want to begin with. We'll be almost done this acre. That's pretty exciting. Now we can start work underneath the cliff. Oh, I guess we're starting over here now. So close, but we still haven't finished this acre. Uh, oh well. Okay, time to go talk to Blizzers. Do we need our new fishy friend to him? This should be the last fish we need that's available year round. It only took us seven months to get it. Oh. Okay, Pearl's still here. At least. I already lost my favorite villager. I don't want to lose my second favorite villager while we're here. Okay, Blizzards. I've got a fishy friend for you. There you go. Take this, Mr. Goldfish friend. Alright. He's got googly eyes, not unlike you, Blathers. He's basically the Blathers of the fish world. Nope, that's everything. Let's just take a look at our new fishy friend, see how he looks in his new tank. That thing takes up the entire tank. That thing is awesome. There he is. Also, I don't think you'd want to put him next to koi or carps. I'm pretty sure they can eat other fish that are smaller than them. I might be wrong about that, though. It's been a long time since I looked up the big list of koi facts, and kois are actually ridiculously fascinating creatures. Okay, so, I need to write four letters, get rid of our KK song, make like three bank deposits, and I think we'll come back tomorrow for more awesome Animal crossing -ness. Because... We're on a mission to get those bugs and fish where we can, and possibly turnips for the first time. So that we can get more bugs, so that we can work on our list. Also, we should really look at our actual, like, lists right now, so let's take a quick glance at them. So, fish... We are missing four. Of which two are available right now. One will be available only in August, the jellyfish. And then the last one, which is, I think, trout will be available in, like, November. So even if we get them all on time, it'll be a while before we finish our list, but we're making good progress, and we're not behind yet. We don't have to, like, wait an entire year to even try. As for insects, there's still four we need from this month. Most of which will afterwards be available next month and then September because bugs kind of stop showing up after that because... Well, they're bugs. They don't tend to like cold. They're like me. Cold is just not my friend. Alright, so let's go to our old bestest pal, Phyllis. Take care of... Ooh, get rid of that. Just gotta keep this town perfect. Choo-choo. Alright, let's go talk to our bestest pal, Phyllis. Take care of some banking. So close to getting a third bank deposit, but alas, we will only be able to get rid of two bank deposits today. And I'd like to mail several letters, Phyllis, if you'll allow me. And I'd like to mail that letter. And I will mail this letter. I will mail this letter. I'm kind of honestly surprised we haven't missed an insect or a fish so far. I'm glad because I really want to get them all. I want to try and finish the museum too before the end of the year. But that'll be based around randomness of paintings and nonsense that I don't really want to deal with. Hey! Tall crocoid! I mean, it's not the crocoid I actually need, but, you know, I do like crocoids. I'd like to finish that set, though. I'm surprised that wasn't a fossil. 
At some time, we really do have to just clean this mess. Whoopsie. And now we gotta insert our new song. And I think that will be it for today. Again, I know I started this a little late and I apologize for that, but uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live. Because we do this every night, as well as weekly Pokemon streams and other stuff when I got the time. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over 1,200 videos waiting just for you, because that's how amazing you are, just at this very moment. Maybe the next moment you're even more amazing, I don't know, I can only comment on the now. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which at this point is catching rare fish and seeing awesome or rarer fish spawn on the other side of the screen that I can't get to. Eh. Yeah, I'm not going to let that one go for a little while. But you do get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like finally being able to catch the pop-eyed goldfish. But... Again, giant snakehead spawning under up here and then disappearing on the other side of the screen where I can't do anything about it. We'll try again tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.